Hi, so I had a few reflections that I wanted to share today about love and consciousness. And it's my opinions, my personal reflections of what I have been exploring in my own journey. And sometimes that resonates and sometimes it doesn't. So uh, what I'm doing is bringing it forward and then allowing it to land wherever it might with you. So what I have found about love, um, it has been a long journey for me. I am 45, I'm divorced, I have two children, um, I am remarried, I have two stepdaughters. I have worked at corporate jobs, I have left corporate jobs, I have worked in nonprofit, and I have started my own coaching business. And through all of that, there has been this deep desire to understand how and why we love and how to love more. I don't know where that came from, it's just how my makeup is, it's um, the way that my soul is wired, and it has been quite a journey. So my original thought was, you know, love always comes from, greater love always comes from some disappointment or pain. You know, when your heart cracks open, um, suddenly you have this capacity to love in a different way or in a deeper way. And what I have been finding over the last few years is love also comes from the greatest joy. It comes from compassion. It comes from understanding other humans and seeing and witnessing where their journeys are and where their journeys are taking them. And that capacity to be present with someone, to be present with joy as well as pain, it opens your heart in ways that are breathtaking, you know, in ways that knock you down because you just don't know love can be that huge. It can be that all-encompassing. It can be that good. And so what I wanted to share today is my understanding of love and how it connects to consciousness, to the way that we create our lives, the way that we show up and live our passion and live our purpose. So. The Buddhists believe, um, and I may be generalizing here, but the Buddhists believe that love can exist in many forms. And there was a beautiful tarot card that I was reading that talked about the three levels of love. It said, you know, there's the base level, which we all call sex or touch, physical touch. And so we believe that we show love or give love or receive love through these physical ways, through sexual or um, intimate encounters and the majority of humans I believe still think that that is how we express and receive love. When you start to crack your heart open, when you start to share more love and give more love and receive more love and it starts to grow and multiply, what we find is that we move to the true understanding of love which is I just want to share. I want to share my journey with you. I want to share my experiences with you. I would love to have an equal exchange. I give you love, you give me love. And there's just this beautiful flow and play. And then they describe this next understanding of love, which they call compassion. Compassion is, I just love you. I love you. I don't expect anything in return. I don't need you to be something for me to feel complete and whole. I don't need you to give me anything, do anything, be anything. I just love you. And that fills me up and lets me overflow and because I have loved myself first I have all this love that I can flow out to you the world anyone right and so this level of compassion is the closest I believe we get to um, what we would call God love or source love or you know in the religious terms like that waking up of your your beliefs your faith right that is that compassion. It's like I am so filled up with love that I can just share it with you and I know it will never run out. And so as I've been exploring love, it's been bumpy, you know. Sometimes I, many times, <laughs> many, many times, I have, in my opinion, screwed it up or done it wrong or love too little, love too much, you know, expected too much, pushed too hard. And so there's been this play with, um, how do I define it, how do I feel it, and how do I live it? And what I have found over the last few years um, in particular is 
the more I love myself, the more certain I feel about my place in me and the relationships I have around me, the more love I have to give and to share. And it never runs out. It, it just keeps coming. There's just more and more of it. And so as I've been exploring that, I've been wondering, you know, how does that connect to this spiritual evolution? You know, so many people talk about how you evolve, how your consciousness expands, how your spirituality expands. Um, you know, we get closer and closer to God love or source love. And so there's this uh, journey or understanding of it that we're always walking. And so how does that connect to love? And um, I've started, I mean, a year or two ago I started meditating. I've started meditating more and more. And what I have found is the more that I'm still and I create that space to, um, you know, clear my body of stuck energy, to slow down the pace of my mind, to slow down the pace of my life, the more that I create that time, the easier it is to feel myself, to feel my love, to feel um, connected, not separate. And in the process of that, um, you get drawn in certain directions, right? You get pulled towards certain teachers or certain um, articles or certain books, and so your, your own inner guidance starts to take you down different pathways. And that's because your soul is ready to receive that information. You know, there's something that you are being called to expand into, and your soul guides you because you're still, because you're listening. You know, there are these whispers that say, you know, call that person or send that email or uh, read that article. And something in there sparks a fire in you or wakes you up or makes a connection that perhaps you hadn't been able to make before. And so we ourselves are guiding what we're ready for, what we're available to hear. In all of that, I have um, been exploring this idea of third dimension and fourth dimension, and it always sounded um, like wishy-washy to me, you know? How, how can we all be humans on the same world, but some are living in different dimensions than others? I, I don't understand how that's possible. And what I keep coming back to in my meditation time is um, it's, it's connected to how your heart is doing. You know, when your heart feels scared or shut down or damaged or hurt, you know, we lock things up, we, we close up the walls, we tighten in and we um, don't trust in the way that we used to trust. And so that tightening is what keeps us in this belief that the world is going to be difficult, that our journeys are going to have to include pain or suffering or struggle that people don't understand us, that we're not valued or heard. You know, there's this fear that sits in our own soul, in our own heart space, and that fear keeps us trapped. And what I believe is that as your heart opens, as you learn and trust and love more, you start to see the world differently. You start to believe that life can actually be a beautiful experience and as you do that you don't need the painful experiences in the way that you did in the old pattern you know the old pattern was i need to reinforce this belief that things are going to be difficult when you open your heart and you start to trust and you take risks and you're vulnerable and you make these videos and wonder you know are people going to think i'm crazy for what i say when you put yourself vulnerably out into the world and you say this is my belief this is my journey this is my heart that i'm sharing with you you open your heart up in a new way and that's when you start to see life differently that's when you start to believe you know it could be fun i could actually create everything that i want in my life i could have a beautiful happy relationship i could um, spend time with the people that I love. I can do a job that I am thrilled to do that you know nourishes my heart and my soul. And so you start to expand your understanding of what life can be. And that to me is the connection between love and consciousness. 
you know, in the the third dimension, what everyone, everyone, <laughs> what YouTube and Google and some spiritual teachers call the third dimension. I, I agree with that. I believe that. I think the majority of our planet that we live on, you know, most of us have been in the space of fear for a long time. You know, we're afraid, afraid of getting hurt, afraid of believing it might be true and then being disappointed. And so we stay small, we stay cocooned in our safety zone, our comfort zone. But when we risk, you know, when we have our heart open and and we start to see that life is as good as we believe it to be, our awareness shifts, our consciousness shifts. And that is what I see as these dimensional levels that people, that I, <laughs> let me not use people, that I talk about. Um, there are these dimensional levels of consciousness where you start to see the world in a different way. I have been trying to find articles or research and see like, you know, what information is even out there from the way I understand this and what's true and what isn't true. and. You know, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter what other people say, and that is what I'm finding for myself. It matters what I believe. It matters what I know to be true, and what I feel, you know, what I feel in my body. And what I feel right now is just so much joy, so much compassion, so much love for my experiences, forgiveness for my experiences, you know, the places where I thought I did it wrong. Um, so much love for the people in my life, for the clients I work with, for my family, my friends. Like there is such an overflow of appreciation and love for this life. And that is what I really most want to share um, in my videos, in my articles, in my work. There's going to be times, obviously, where we will, you know, in our journeys need to look at some patterns or look at stories or understand why we do things, you know, the way that we do them. And as we look at those things, we can unravel it and clear it and then our hearts open, our hearts expand because we realize it's not wrong, <laughs> you know, nothing we've done is wrong, it's all just been learning and growing and so there are these dimensions in the way that I understand them they're not uh, physical dimensions they're not like some sci-fi movie or we weird woo-woo thing that happens to me it's just a um, it's like your awareness of life starts to expand and your faith and your belief in in God, in Source, in this connection that we're all actually one um, band or connected energy of love. You know, every one of us is connected to the other because all of us come from the original first breath or the original source of life or the original source of love. All of us come from that and so how, how we hate each other or uh, push against each other or judge each other it it just keeps us separate um, from ourselves it keeps us separate from connecting as one humanity and so to me this this consciousness level is um, it's like jumping off a cliff and going I don't know um, that life is going to be safe and I'm not going to get hurt or that my you know, experiences might not include something painful, but I just trust, I believe, I'm going to open my heart and I'm going to keep trying, I'm going to keep coming back, you know, I'm going to keep living this crazy cool thing that we call life. And so I've had friends and family ask me like, well, what does that mean? You know, what do these dimensions even mean? And so I thought I would share um, my understanding of it. I have this way of, um, sharing things it's not I know everything and this is the answer and I'm you know miles ahead of you so follow me um, the way I share is this this understanding is happening I'm not quite sure I have it all figured out but if I share it with you it'll help me clarify it and then your reflections might refine something 
and then we'll all kind of grow together you know we'll all explore this together and as we do that um, something new gets created you know this new moment gets formed this new now that never existed before starts to be molded and shaped because we all bring something valuable we all bring our awareness and our heart and our love and our unique experiences and something new gets formed so here's my understanding in this moment <laughs> of what it feels like um, to me you know the experience of being on earth is how we start to form these dimensions so the level one dimension would be plant life you know trees and plants and perhaps water and dirt you know all of those matter those forms of matter that give our earth substance and then the second dimension would be animals you know animals bring in this new way of love but they're not evolved enough um, to communicate to build to create you know and so that would be like the second level of awareness or consciousness or love and then humans as we all are right now the majority of the planet you know humans are third dimension they're in this 3d world they're in this um, ability to feel and love and think and create but many many humans you know myself for a long time like we are so full of fear so full of um, limitations that we put on ourselves like we're not going to um, be too big or speak our truth because we might get rejected and we might be separate from everyone else and this idea of separation is only going to continue so don't do that you know stay in the crowd follow the group do what everyone else is doing be safe so that you can be loved at that level that the majority of the earth is loving at and then something happens usually some awakening or you know perhaps perhaps you lose someone you love um, that happened to me perhaps you go through a divorce and your heart cracks open you know and then is ready for something new to be born perhaps you get really sick you know your body starts to talk to you and it says you're out of alignment buddy like this isn't working you know you need to slow down you need to tune in your soul is whispering that it's time to love more and you're not paying attention so we're gonna stop the body in its tracks you know with illness Sometimes, like one of my clients right now, she's about to get married, you know, that commitment to the next phase of your journey, that opening up to marriage, you know, sometimes that is the activation for um, more love to happen. And as that happens, your consciousness then is ready to expand. And that is what um, I call the fourth dimension. It's what I've read many articles about that they also call the fourth dimension. It's this awareness that life can be better than what we currently see it looking like in the regular world. You know, it can be fun. Um, it's safe to love, even if it's a little scary, right? I'm, I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to love a little more. I'm going to believe faith is going to show me um, that there is a God or there is a universe or there is this thing called source that connects all of us. And I sort of believe it I'm not quite sure and so we sort of bounce you know third to fourth bounce 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 like I believe it I don't believe it I believe it I don't believe it um, and it can be a really confusing time often that is when you know your your painful places will come up so that you can look at them and you can say I I don't know if that's true actually you know those things about my childhood or those memories I have from another lifetime I don't know if those are still true in this new world that I'm living in in this new time right this planet that is evolving um, I believe a lot of people started having that happen around 2012 September 2012 when the Mayan calendar was ending and there was all this talk about the end of the world right there was this opportunity for humanity to go whoa wait what's going on what is happening here and um, people started to wake up in a different way and so there's been this um, bumpy period you know of what I call the fourth dimension um, lots of people are still sitting in the third and that's totally cool and some are moving into the fourth and that's awesome some moved through the fourth and they went right into the fifth dimension and 
what that feels like to me is this um, understanding that you know I'm here in this world for a purpose I don't know what it is you know I'm not quite sure why I'm here or what I'm supposed to be um, telling the world or guiding the world towards or how I'm supposed to share love in a different way but I know I know it's not that way which is fear and shadow and confusion I know it's this direction and so in this fifth dimension we start um, exploring you know this is what happened to me in November of last year when I decided I was ready to start my own business um, and to do this coaching and energy work in my own way it was very confusing at first you know I don't know what am I supposed to do I know I, I coach but what does it look like and does anyone even care and what do I do with it and you know what sort of coaching and what would mine look like if I wasn't doing it in the way that I had been doing it before you know under other people's guidance and so I I str uh, struggled isn't the right word I played I played right my heart was more open it had cracked open in the separation from my partner it cracked open and pain and love mixed together and it was confusing but also like it was a beautiful time for me to really um, feel so much more love for my family and my clients and my friends and the people I engage with on a daily basis. And so for the last, you know, eight or nine months, I've been in this place of, I think I have this gift to share. I think this is the work that I do. I, well, I kind of think of this, but I'm not so sure. And so I've been playing with this understanding of life purpose. and. I think we all go through that. I hope, I hope we all go through that in our lifetimes. You know, what is our gift? Why are we here? What is the point of being here? Right? I, I must have picked to arrive in this body and to be the soul, or I wouldn't have breath. Right? We choose breath. We choose the first <gasps> when we come out of the womb. So, if I chose it, there must be some reason that I'm here on this planet. And in the fifth dimension, you start to explore what is your specific gift? What is it that you love to do? One of my friends and my coach, she said to me, if you, if you didn't do this, you would die. What is that thing? Right? And that would be my question for you also. If, if you were to die and you had not given the world this one thing or had not said this one thing to the world, what, what would that be? You know, don't die without having that without bringing that without sharing that um, so I've been figuring it out you know for the last eight or nine months and having so much fun in the process you know great conversations with friends and with clients and um, play with my family and you know beautiful retreats and amazing coaching sessions and all this activity that's also included all this stillness of me sitting in my own meditation space with myself and going what do I know to be true what do I how do I feel in my heart you know what is my soul calling me towards and and it, do I trust myself enough to go in that direction and so um, a week and a half ago I shared this uh, program it's not even the right word this offering from my heart that is called soul filters and it's my understanding of how souls choose to be humans you know these filters that we put on ourselves so that we're not too brilliant we're not too shiny so that we forget all of our knowing and when we're here walking this earth we're doing it with this filter or pattern that we're going to explore consciousness with you know as we are in relationships as we work as we have children and raise them as we um, bring our gifts to the world we're going to do it through this sort of foggy filter you know of trying to clear old stories and old patterns and so when I shared that um, what I feel to be so true is in the claiming of what your gift is when when you say to the world I figured it out <laughs> it's taken me a while taken a lot of pain a lot of struggle a lot of joy a lot of adventure and I figured it out like this is the thing that I am bringing forward that I'm saying to the world like I will die if I don't do this thing if I don't tell you what I understand to be true and in that giving of that gift it's 
it's another cracking open of your heart but in the most beautiful way you know your heart just goes ah oh, like I love this world I love this life I love my job I love my family I love my friends I love my clients I love the trees that you know you just have this overwhelming flow of love and it knocks you down right I I shared soul filters on Saturday and literally on Sunday like on the ground <laughs> you know I was so my physical body was so overwhelmed with all that I had brought forward that it just knocked me to the ground and so I I rested I listened to my body I slept I laid in the sunshine I cuddled with my family you know and and that feels like this uh, consciousness up leveling as my heart broke open again consciousness expanded again and I could say you know something's different I understand my role in this life in a different way and that feels like the knowing when you claim your gift and you say I'm on my path and it's this direction you are in this sixth dimension of consciousness which really is just the sixth level of opening your heart it's just more expansion of love and in that expansion you have more to give and so that is that is what I've been playing with over the last week is um, yes there's this beautiful thing called soul filters but guess what it also connects to how your heart opens and it connects to how your consciousness is expanding and it connects to how we connect to our earth how grounded we are how how we partner and support this planet that we are living in you know how we become more aware that we have to conserve water and we have to um, eat healthier and take care of our bodies differently you have this awareness of how everything is interrelated interconnected and it's not in a snobby way like I know something others don't it's in a I need to tell everyone I need to share this you know activists that's how they they're driven they they have this awareness of how we're all interconnected and why aren't we doing this together? Why aren't we partnering? Why aren't we um, being aware of how our choices impact this planet? How our choices impact other countries and their residents and you know what their futures are going to look like? We're all this one weaving. And in that sixth dimension of consciousness or what I call open-heartedness, you can't not talk about it you can't not share it because you so badly want other people to see like you have a role you have something so specific and beautiful and unique to bring to the world and when you stay in that belief that it's going to be hard that you're going to have to um, be afraid that you might get hurt that people might not love you or whatever the story is when you stay in that place of believing it the world is less than because you're not bringing your unique gift forward you're not sharing your expanded version of love I know I'm so on fire about this <laughs> but it's 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 like it comes from the bottom of your soul and you want to share it with everyone right like like listen hear me bring your gifts be the best you in the world you know um, musicians I believe many musicians Prince for example you know they're at that higher level of consciousness just meaning their hearts are wide open they don't filter what they're singing they just sing it right whether you go to their concert or not they're gonna sing their song because they have to they have to share this love and for them it comes through music for artists it comes through painting or or sculpture right they don't care if you believe that their art is the best art they just have to create it they just have to share it they just have to bring it out and give it to the world and that is the open heart right it's the expanded level of consciousness or awareness that we're all connected we're not separate so I don't I don't quite know how high the numbers go um, I watched this amazing video of this 13 year old genius open-hearted young soul uh, Max Lohan and he said you know there's an infinite number of dimensions there is no maximum number and I believe that I believe consciousness just keeps growing your heart can never open too much right you just love and there's more that comes in and more that goes out and so 
love just grows and grows and consciousness matches that love it matches that open heart so how many numbers are there I don't know um, is it about the race to get to the highest number no no I don't believe that I believe it's about each person having their own journey and and being willing to take the risk to love more and as you get more comfortable taking the risk as you can't not love can't not share it you know your journey becomes more beautiful when I picked the name my soul journey um, I don't even know how I got it I was I was thinking about names for the business and I was thinking about our soul journey or also our soul journeys my journey you know the soul's journey and um, one morning I woke up and I was like I love the name my soul journey and I was on a call with a client and um, she said at the end of the session thank you for guiding me through my soul's journey and it was like everything like fizzled inside my body I was like oh, yes <laughs> that is that is my work right my work is to guide people through their own soul journey to to show them how amazing and beautiful it can be how by living mine by being in my journey by expanding my love by sharing my love by taking risks by being vulnerable by playing more um, my soul journey is my experience of my life and by living it and sharing it my hope is that others wake up and want to step more into love in their soul journey and then it just becomes fun <laughs> because we're all just living life and playing um, in love in such a beautiful way so my belief is at this time maybe there are ten levels ten dimensions ten levels of your heart opening but I think that's also just where the planet is in this moment. I think as more people wake up, those dimensions will continue to expand. You know, what does seven look like? To me, probably more visibility, more sharing, right? A bigger platform, more people paying attention. And so your heart is just growing and expanding so much because more love creates more love. You know, and the eighth more so, and the ninth more so, and you know they connect to our soul filters um, in this way of as we put the shroud on our brilliance when we come here as souls to be humans when we say I'm putting on this filter of for me it's the Orion moon right so I'm going to put on this understanding of how I can bring brilliant souls stars together and create new things that have never been created before a constellation is something that is made up of brilliance but it creates a new pattern a new weaving when we bring lots of stars and we say oh look when you put them like this you create this pattern called Orion or you know these other patterns the Little Dipper the Big Dipper and so those constellations can guide humans in um, sailing the world in knowing where they are in seasons you know the constellations become a tool a guide so when I as a soul said I'm going to come have this human incarnation the filter I put on is this um, understanding that I'm here to help network people to bring communities together to create something new that has not existed before to see people in their brilliance and then show them how when they work together communities create something way more brilliant than one star by itself and that is what I'm doing I know that that is my work um, and that is why my heart keeps opening and consciousness keeps expanding it's because I'm on my path and I'm doing what I agreed as a soul to do before I came here and decided to be a human um, there's lots more information about soul filters that wasn't the main thing I wanted to share today it was really um, an invitation to just explore what I shared you know just feel it see if any of it feels true to you uh, maybe find the places where your heart is wanting to hide or wanting to protect and just see like why you know why why does that feel so scary to me or you know is there something that is ready to shift just by listening to someone who can say I've opened my heart and I've opened it more and I've opened it more and guess what 
it's really fun. <laughs> it's really fun over here and it feels really happy and the world feels brighter and kinder and and my heart is more open and it still feels that way. So shutting it down just puts your attention on shutting it down. It puts your attention on the fear. It puts your attention on the protection. And when you can release that, you know, and you can open up your heart and be willing to say the crazy thing or laugh when people want you to be super serious because you see the joy in the moment. Um, maybe that's an opportunity that your soul wants you to have, which is why you're watching this video. So yeah, that's, that's my reflections in the moment. Um, I feel like there's so much more that will start to make sense to me and as it does I'll share it and my hope is that you share it. You know, if something here resonates, share it with your friend, share it with your mom or your dad or your family member or sit with your animals and go, you know, I really appreciate that you just love me unconditionally because you're opening my heart in a new way, in a way that maybe I don't trust humans to do. And so you just share. And in that sharing, your heart will open a little more. Um, there's lots of meditations that I have on my YouTube channel. If you, um, if you don't meditate regularly, you know, try, just start, sit with yourself. If it's too scary, use a guided meditation for a while and, and start with that process, but get to know your soul and your heart in um, a more intimate way, in a quieter, more still way and you'll be amazed at how much you already know. Um, you'll be amazed at how much love your heart can hold and as it starts to bubble up, how you can't not share it with other people. So yeah, I am sending so much love to each of you watching this video today.